another research bite. We just found a 2019, so a recent study of over 6,000 subjects. Mm. And I think that's a really good sample size. It is, yeah. The average age of the participant was also 52 years of age. So potentially an older population and a good sized population. Mm. And what they found was that they were uh, basically had lower levels of selenium mm. led to a higher prevalence of osteoporosis. Yeah, And that's really significant for us here in Australia because we are naturally low in selenium in our yeah. soils. Yeah, our topsoils are very low in this trace nutrient called selenium. Uh, and one of the mechanisms that the researchers have said could be responsible is that selenium is so important for a healthy thyroid. And if you're selenium deficient, that means potentially you have a higher level of thyroid um, hormones and that increases your bone turnover, therefore increasing your risk of osteoporosis. So selenium is super important for healthy bones. But then on the flip side, um, taking too much selenium can be quite toxic. So please do not think it's a wise idea to go out and self-prescribe a whole heap of selenium to yourself. Don't read the research and then jump to a conclusion and prescribe. That's where we can come in and help you pinpoint, well, what's going on for you? Is your diet low, which mm. potentially it is, and then we can look at strategies to help manage that. So send us a message if you want some help around that. Thanks.